what's up everybody? This is Matt with Rocky's War Room. Uh, tonight, we have another unboxing build of another box I got from uh, the game Test of Honor, the Samurai Miniatures game. This one seems pretty easy. Uh, it is actually only five miniatures. It's the Ronin Masterless Samurai. And in this box, you get 18 cards. You get six, uh, six figures. You get five heads. I found out that's what that means. Five special samurai heads and two three-part base, special bases. So we're going to put this together in lightning speed, I guarantee you. Uh, in the box, there we go. Get a couple of these bases here. You get that special character with a base for him. Uh, and the five extra heads here uh, that come with these samurai. You also get a one, one, just one samurai sprue, and you get ten bases. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was supposed to be that way, but I got some extra samurai bases to uh, to use here in case I lose one or um, in case I get to the get some into the future. Um, so this is the samurai sprue, and it's got all the basic stuff for the samurais. I'm going to use the cape body here for one of them this time around. <clears throat> it's also got the, uh, I guess you can call them the samurai heraldries or their helmet decorations. It's got a couple more here. A bunch of heads, but we won't be using those heads. Of course, they got uh, various weapons like uh, this here. I believe these are called uh, Nagajita or something like that. Uh, we got small swords, we got katanas, um, just a variety of different things that uh, you can put on your samurai, and of course an instruction booklet. So we're going to put these five guys together, just five this time, actually four technically, uh, but they give you five guys on this sprue right here, one, plus one special character, so yeah, I believe that's what I got. Yep, that's right, six guys total. The special character, five samurai, the masterless samurai. You also get these cards. Forgot to mention that. Uh, this is Toshida, the Dishonored. And this, uh, he can take the dirty trick skill card, which is pretty cool. And then we got plenty of Rogan, Ronin thug groups and Rogan, Rogan, uh, Ronin thugs. And of course, my favorite, more quests. More quests and skills so i think that's pretty cool this really adds a, a big element to the game is these quests and skills uh playing a campaign campaign and stuff like that so we're going to build uh Dadisha, a rogan th a ronin thug group and a Ro ronin thug group <laughs> or actually you can only build one ronin thug group i think yeah yeah because there's only, well, no, there's six guys plus one special character. No, there's only five guys. So, yeah, you would only be able to fulfill one big group and two single guys. So, that's what we're going to build tonight right there. Um, a Ronin Thug, Ronin Thug, Ronin Thug group, and the special key uh, character, Dadisha, the Dishonored. So, let's get to it.
Okay, we got them together. Took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. Uh, some of these pieces, uh, I don't know if you could tell or not. Um, some of these miniatures were a little tough. This one wasn't. He was the easiest one. All I had to do is glue him to the base. This is uh, the uh, <clears throat> Ronin himself. Um, or Ronin. The character. This fella right here. Um, the heads, like the, the top of the body. Oh, oh man, I just hit the camera. <laughs> there we go. The, uh, the heads were... <clears throat> kind of tough to uh, put on because the torso, the top part of the torso has a hole rather than a solid surface. So I had to put extra glue around there. And of course I got them wet um, before I stuck them uh, onto the actual uh, torso itself. So there's the other one there. My Cape Crusader. <laughs> and I'll just kind of pick up this whole base. I won't pick up this whole base because they'll just fall. Man, oh man, I'm fumbly tonight. We'll just kind of do this here. So you guys can kind of get an idea. I wanted to make them all a little bit different. Um, uh, also, uh, looks like the head came off of this one, so I'll have to fix it. Darn it. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll have to re-glue that, glue that one. Wasn't quite dry when I dropped it there. Ah, uh, we'll fix it. It's no big deal. Um, but I want to make them each one different. Also, I got them as close to the pictures on the box as I possibly could. Um, as far as heads, bodies, swords, kat I mean katanas... Uh, one guy with a, uh, with a, uh, I think it's called an, uh, Naga, Nagagita, I think it's called a Nagagita or something like that. Um, but I've got them as close as I could to the, the, uh, <clears throat> box art here. Let me get a little bit closer here. Um, maybe you guys can see, there we go. I'll back it up just a little bit. But uh, there they are. There's the Ronin box set. Um, I'm going to immediately get off here and uh, re-glue this head right here. Or put a little bit more glue down, at least, to make sure that stays. Uh, but overall, um, I would say that these models are not for the uh, beginner. Um, uh, as far as the options... And <clears throat> the instructions are good. They tell you how to put it together. Um, but if you don't know how to find it on the sprue and how they go together, I had to chop off that bottom part of the body because um, when I did the first couple, the torso has this little lip thing on the bottom. And when I did the first one, it didn't, it just wouldn't fit on there right, no matter how much I cut it. So I just said, forget it, I'll just cut them off because they still fit. You don't cut the whole thing off, but you just cut, cut a piece of it off. And uh, it fits okay. I mean, they're really cool looking. They really, really are. Um, uh, out of all the box sets, um, these are my favorite looking uh, miniatures itself. But uh, what we have here <clears throat> is Tashada, which is the main character. I have... Two Ronin thugs. Let me back out here. Two Roman thugs here. And I have a Ro Roman Ronin thug group um, to add to my forces here. Um, I believe you can run them as, you know, get another samurai and put them here and obviously uh, just run another thug group um, with one of your other samurai that you already have built. So... I'm assuming that's the way you can do it, um, but honestly, uh, just adding these guys to an existing army and using Ronin instead of, you know, your normal samurai heroes, um, if you want to play dishonorably, basically, he can do a, a dirty trick. Um, 
which will allow him to do, I believe uh, it'll allow him to do a dishonor move. Uh, after Samurai makes a successful melee strike roll, you may choose for your Samurai hero to gain a dishonor card, and the target cannot avoid this attack. So you give him a dishonor, he can take a dishonor, and your enemy won't be able to avoid the attack. So this would be something as if you're going to win, you know, uh, the battle as far as how it's going, and you want to cut cut us another samurai down. Use this card; he can't avoid. Increases your chances. So, and this is a skill card that you can earn by pulling fate fate tokens. So, all in all, uh, nice kit, nice looking model. Uh, if nothing else, the the Ronin model is pretty awesome. <laughs> Uh, the heads are pretty cool. Uh, I'd love to build some more of these. Um, I love models. I love building models. It's fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Like this video. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think of it. And uh, last but not least, as always, ta-ta!